Have you heard about Bitcoin? Of course you have. It seems like Bitcoin was the future of money and then all of a sudden it was worth nothing and then all of a sudden it's a thing again. Bitcoin, I believe in digital currency, maybe more specifically in cryptocurrency, I believe is the future of money. So in this episode of the vlog, let's talk about what is Bitcoin and what is cryptocurrency anyway. All right, so we've talked about Bitcoin and you've heard about Bitcoin and it's a big deal. And a lot of people are calling it the future of money, but you might not even know what it is. Is it an actual coin? Is it like a little thumb drive? Because on TV, it looks like it's a little flash drive or is there money inside of there? How does it work? So Bitcoin at the end of the day is a form of digital money. It's a form of cryptocurrency. Now there are actually hundreds, uh, if not thousands of cryptocurrencies out there and so it gets pretty confusing as to, to what is this anyway. So in understanding what is Bitcoin and what is cryptocurrency, I think we have to start with what is cryptocurrency. So currency is where it starts. So I've got a US dollar right here. This is a currency. This is a medium of exchange. This is uh, something that we agree upon the value of this US dollar, just like we agree upon the value of a peso or euro and what even a peso in exchange for a dollar is and so it's a currency and then i get i work i get paid in a currency uh, which is a store of value or so we agree upon this value then i can buy things with this value and so we agree that this one dollar is worth a cheap cup of coffee or a small frosty at wendy's or uh, wh whatever we agree uh, that this dollar can be exchanged for. And then when I do a certain amount of work, I'll agree to do it for a certain number of these dollars and I get paid. And then I use this to buy housing, to buy food, to, to buy, you know, pay for entertainment. Uh, and so it's a store of value. Uh, now, at the end of the day, it's just a piece of paper, but we all agree that this has a certain amount of value. And so that's what cryptocurrency is. It's a digital form of value. It's a store of value uh, that we use on, on the internet uh, through technology uh, to store that value and exchange that value. So instead of paper, we're using technology. We're, we're using just a digital means. means. And, and I think as you think about where the world has moved, doesn't that make sense? Doesn't this feel dated? Doesn't a digital form of money make more sense? Now, the reality is we're actually exchanging dollars digitally and at the bottom of it, it's just paper. Um, and so at the, at the end of people will often say, well, there's nothing at the bottom of Bitcoin. Well, it's a store of value. It's, it's a technology, it's a representation, but it's stored in a digital means, which is, you know, I think it, it has value if we agree that it has value because all this is, is a store of paper. And so let's, let's understand that, that it's a digital currency. It is a store of value that we can be paid for, you know, for good or service, uh, and then we can use as a form of payment. And so it is a currency in that way. Now let's talk about the crypto side of cryptocurrency. Now that's where you hear terms like decentralized or cryptography or blockchain. So cryptocurrency is built on blockchain technology, which is a decentralized computer system where instead of it being on one central server, it is decentralized. So every time transactions are made, they are made and distributed across the entire ledger that is on every single computer that is connected to that network uh, within the blockchain. Now this creates great stability and security where it can't be hacked. When, so when you think about that as a lot of people's systems and database systems get hacked because they're on these centralized servers that 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 have some vulnerabilities. Well, cryptography was built to create this level of security on the blockchain technology. So it, it actually creates the most stable, secure system that, that's ever existed. And so I think the reality of why digital money has taken this long to get here is the technology wasn't ready for digital money. Now we've started exchanging in digital ways, but now we, there is a technology that is developing blockchain technology that is allowing for a scalable and secure system for the exchange of value in a digital way. And it stores that value in, in a way that really is, is more secure in my mind than a bunch of these. And so as I think about the future of money, digital money just makes sense. And as blockchain technology, as we continue to learn about it, and the reality is when you think about the internet, we all use the internet, we used it for 20 years, you don't ever understand every detail of the internet. And you'll likely never understand all the details of the blockchain, but that's a technology you're gonna to continue to hear about. 
And cryptocurrency is, is a function in, in a form of currency that Bitcoin, which was created over 10 years ago and has matured and developed to, to being a very significant way uh, for global exchange today, it's still a very small fraction of exchange but I believe it's gonna continue and it might not be Bitcoin. And you might've heard of Libra, which is Facebook's cryptocurrency that they're creating. Now Facebook's not gonna own it. They're gonna, it's gonna be a collective of a hundred different organizations that will oversee it and manage it. And, but, but at the end of the day, what's really developing is that money is moving from a physical form of paper. Now, by the way, there's no gold at the bottom of this. I think a lot of people perceive that the gold standard and there's actually gold at the bottom, it's just paper. Now, but the government is is behind this. So this form of cryptocurrency is gonna be interesting to see as money moves into more of a digital means and stored in a more digital means and stored through blockchain technology. I think it's an exciting future. I think it's an interesting future. I think it's something we need to continue to pay attention to. Uh, and, and I think we'll see where all this goes, but I'm excited about what's happening in the world of blockchain technology. I'm excited about Bitcoin. I personally use Bitcoin. Uh, and I use an app called Coinbase. I'll talk, we'll talk more about that in another, another vlog, but I'd love to know, what do you think? Do you think that cryptocurrency is the future of money? Or do you think like many other people that it's a fad, a passing fad and uh, that, that the US dollar is the one and only stable currency that's going to exist or the Euro or whatever current currency that, that exists uh, where you live? What do you think the future of money looks like? And what do you think the future of cryptocurrency looks like? I'd love to know your thoughts, comment those. Uh, below. Let me know what you think and subscribe to this channel. Learn more. I talk a lot about social media, new technology, uh, and would love to connect and stay connected here on YouTube.